In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take an ordinary USB drive just like the one we've got here and turn it into a bootable Ubuntu drive. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be taking a USB flash drive like the one I've got here and turning it into a bootable USB drive for a Linux, specifically Ubuntu. Now, just a few things before we get started is of course you're gonna to want to make sure that the flash drive is at least eight gigabytes or larger. And if you do have any files on it that those are backed up elsewhere because this process is going to erase whatever's on it. Now, another thing is, is if you do have partitions on the drive, it's also going to erase that. It's gonna warn that there's multiple partitions and it's going to remove those and just create a single partition. So just make sure that you've got your data backed up elsewhere and make sure everything is safe before proceeding with the process. With that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. To kick things off, you're gonna to want to navigate to a website called rufus.ie. This is where we're gonna download the software where we'll use to create a bootable drive out of the ISO file. So once you've gone to rufus.ie, again, I'll link the uh, URLs in the description. You're gonna scroll down about halfway down under the download section, and you're gonna to want to click on the latest version in this case 3.11 and you're going to want to run the exe file you will receive a uac prompt at this point make sure you go ahead and click on yes and then the software is going to load and it's going to look something like this now from here we're going to put a pause on this because now we're going to want to navigate over to ubuntu's downloads and download the flavor that you're looking for or the distribution that you're looking for in today's demo we're going to go over to ubuntu.com forward slash download again i will link this down below and we're just gonna use the uh, Ubuntu desktop version, but if you're looking for a specific version, you've got Ubuntu servers, Ubuntu flavors, Ubuntu cloud, Ubuntu for IoT, and there's different uh, variations depending on what you're wanting this operating, operating system to focus on. But so we're just gonna click on the Ubuntu desktop, which is just a straight up old school Ubuntu with obviously being updated. So we're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna click on the green download button here. So the download just finished, but I wanted to say if you have your own ISO file that you want to use to create a bootable drive out of, you can do that instead of going through and downloading uh, their version in case you have like a custom version. In any case, you will also want to make sure where you save that ISO file because in this next step, we're going to be navigating to that and actually select that ISO file. So now that the ISO file is finished downloading, we're gonna come on back to Rufus and you can minimize your browser at this point. And under device, you're gonna to want to select the device that you're going to be using for this. So if I drop down this menu, you can see that I only have one option. You may have multiple, so make sure you're selecting the correct one. But I've also got multiple partitions on that specific drive. So I'm just gonna choose that. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on select and you're gonna to navigate to wherever you saved that ISO file. So I'm gonna click on that, highlight it, and then I'm going to click open. From here, it's automatically going to select the MBR and the target system for BIOS or UEFI and the M uh, partition scheme as MBR. You can leave those as default. Volume label, you can name it whatever you'd like to, and then you're gonna leave the file system and the cluster size as default and then you can go ahead and click start this image or this warning is going to pop up saying this image uses syslinks it's just saying it's going to need to download some additional files and you're more or less giving it permission you have to click yes in order for it to connect and yes you do need to have internet connection during this process so we're going to click on yes this warning is going to pop up just saying hey this is a hybrid iso basically meaning you can either use it as a usb bootable drive or burn it to a dvd we're just gonna use the recommended settings and click okay. All data on this device, so this is again the warning that's saying any data that's on this thing is going to be destroyed. If you've got it all backed up, click okay. And then the final warning is multiple partitions detected. If you have multiple partitions on your drive, it's also going to destroy those and just create a single partition. In that case, we're gonna go ahead and click okay. Now it says deleting partitions, and now it's gonna go through the process of creating the bootable USB drive. Now, once it's finished, the ready bar is actually gonna be fully green, and you can click on close from here. And at this point, you can use the USB drive to either boot directly from the drive and try out the operating system, or you can use it to fully install the operating system, and you're good to go. And that is all there is to it. As you can see, really easy to set up and use, and one of the coolest features is it allows you to go in boot directly from the drive so you can test drive the operating system before you make any changes to your actual machine. Now I wish this is something that Microsoft has so you could go in, try out different versions of Windows without making or committing any changes to your machine. 
Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it. You got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, don't be afraid to ring that bell so you guys don't miss out on any type of future uploads. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps> oh, and don't forget to check out our merch over at shop.helpcloud.com and get yourself some sweet HelpCloud swag. See ya. <gasps>